I never thought it would happen to me. We are taught to be safe, practice safety drills, and hope we never have to use them. Cold, dark, and mountainous, especially along the river. It was a single engine aircraft and a relief pilot. We were returning with a patient on board. All three crew members were wearing night vision goggles. Suddenly the engine horn sounded, cockpit went quiet, and I no longer heard the familiar sound of the A-Star's engine running. The next 30 seconds felt like an hour. Connie had been out of her belt caring for the patient. We heard, Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. HealthNet 3 has an engine failure. I saw the cell tower at 12 o'clock. Oh God, we're going to hit it. I looked back to Connie, reassured she was in her belt, and I made a dispatch. I saw the cornfield out the left window and called it to the pilot. A left bank around the tower and then right, the nose of the aircraft angled down as we gained speed and lost altitude. I saw the ground coming at us and all I could think about was the survival training. Sit back, tighten your belt, brace, brace, brace. We bounced and skidded 20 feet. As the aircraft began to slow, it tipped towards the nose and I saw the spinning rotors. We'd survived the impact, but were going to be killed by the flying blades. They didn't hit, and we finally came to a stop. I exited the aircraft and remembered we had a patient to care for. As we walked through the ER doors, everyone was quiet. Why are you not wet? At the debriefing, we learned the pilot had intended to ditch in the river until we were able to point out a suitable landing zone. Night vision goggles saved our lives. A few months later, I received a package in the mail, a handmade frame containing the date and the time of those 30 seconds. A reminder that it can happen to anyone.